Hello and welcome to DigiLink's course Introduction to Python for Linguists. My name is Petra Bago. This lesson covers a new object called files. To be precise, we will cover another new data type within this lesson, but we'll get to that later. We will see how to handle files, what functions and methods we can call on files, and of course how to iterate through files. So let's begin. Files are a new type of object. In this course, we will learn how to manipulate text files and not other kinds of files. To manipulate a file, we first have to open a file. We will learn to read a file and to write to a file. But in order to do that, we first have to open a file. An analogy would be a notebook. If you want to write something in your notebook, first you have to open it. Also, you have to open it to read what you have written in your notebook. It's the same with file objects. To, put, to manipulate a file object, we first have to call a function open on the file. This function opens the file and gets it ready for manipulation. The methods we will cover are the read method, the write method, and the close method. You can probably guess right what each of these methods do. The read method reads from the file character by character. The write method writes strings to a file. And the close method closes the file. When we close a file, we can no longer write in the file. The open function takes one mandatory argument name and one optional argument mode. The mandatory argument name is a string containing the name of the file to be opened, to be manipulated with. For example, we can create a text file named spam, that is spam.txt. The optional argument mode is a string indicating what we plan on doing with the file when we open it. We can put value r if we want to read a file, or we can put value w if we want to write to a file. If this argument mode is left out, the program assumes that the default value is r. This function has another optional argument that we won't be covering in this lesson. If you are interested, you can always check out the Python documentation. The three methods we'll cover are the read, the write, and the close method. The read method reads from the file character by character. The read method can be called an open function that is called on a file object. The open function must have the mode argument set to R, or the mode argument must be left out because the default value of the argument is then also r. The read method has an optional argument size. For text files, it indicates the number of characters to be read from the text files. When this argument is not defined, the program assumes it should read until the end of the file. We will leave this argument out because we want the program to go through the whole file. For these examples, let's imagine we have a text file named spam.txt. The file contains the first and the last names of the members of the Monty Python group. Each person is written in a separate line. Now we can try printing the whole content of the text file. We can do that by typing print and then open and then in the brackets we put the name of the file, which is in our case spam.txt. The mode argument we define as r for read. And then on this we call the method read, open bracket, close bracket. And the program will return the content of the file. As you can see in the bottom example, we can do the same thing, but leave out the mode argument r and the program will return the same thing. We can also assign the expression to variable, let's say f, and we can print the variable f. 
and the program will return the same thing. The next method is the write method. We call this method to write a string to a file object. The method is called on the function open with the mode argument set to w. For this method we have to set the mode argument to w. The write method takes the a mandatory argument string. That is the text we are going to write to a file. To finish the process of writing to a file, we have to close the file with the method close. So let's take a look at the method close before we take a look at some examples. The close method closes the file after we have finished writing to a file. It takes no arguments, so we just open and close the brackets. Now we can take a look at both the write and the close methods. Let's assign to a variable named f a file that is ready for writing. We do this by calling the open function. As the first argument of the open function, we put the name of the file we are creating. Let's name it new.txt. Next, we have to set the mode argument to w so that the program knows we want to write something in this file. Now we can call the method write on the variable f. As an argument of the write method, we type what we want to put in the file. In the example, we put string containing writing our first line. We can call the method write on the variable as many times as we need to. The second time we call the write method, we put a string writing our second line, and so on. When we are finished with the writing process, we call the method close on the variable f. Now we can print the content of the file to see what have we done. And as you can see in the example, the text that we have written is just being concatenated. We are missing characters for new lines. And that is because we didn't put them in our strings. So let's try again the same thing, but this time we will put the new line characters at the end of the strings, except on the last row. In this example, we have now added the new line characters. Now, when we print the content of the file, we see that each sentence is written in a new line. But where exactly is this file on our computer? It depends on many things, like the operating system, how you define the settings while installing the program, and so on. But here is a way you can find the file. Without getting into the details of this code, just type these three lines of code. The program will return the folder with the working directory. And in this folder you will find the file new.txt you have just created. Before we learn to iterate through files, we can first try creating a new file with Python. So let's see some code. 